So in this video I will show you how to create a Windows uh, background service, a service which is running in the Windows console, uh, in, in Windows taskbar or the Windows tasks as a background service. So Microsoft has a default template there, but this one is not running when you uh, try to do it plain from that stuff. So what we do here with this is Visual Studio 2022 uh, Community Edition, which uh, is for free. Then we go to we start the project and go create a new project. And inside there we uh, take the worker service. Uh, you will see when you type worker there. Then there comes this worker service as a template. We take this one um, and we start it. Come on, here we are. And then we say, okay, this is my demo, demo worker service 03, because it's my third example. <laughs> Uh, to show and now when we go there we uh, in this example I take the .NET 6 uh, from 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, you're, able, you're free feel free to do uh, that stuff I would prefer not to take 7 because 7 is uh, only this short term standard uh, stuff either 6 or 8 and now we have 6 uh, we go on there we uh, we take the do not use top level statement. So program is in one uh, line, let's say like this one block. Um, the service, the app starts in here. Now, whenever you have a Windows application, uh, 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 ASP, uh, uh, Visual Studio application, and uh, then simply run that button and then you see what's happening. So you see when I start this, I open the uh, console window and you see something is doing. So it does a job, something in the background. How is this done? We always start in the program. In the program, there's, uh, that's the program is the main uh, entrance point and there there's one method function. And that's the main block. That's the entry point where whenever you click on exit, it, it uh, goes on there. In exit, there is uh, it installs, uh, it creates um, a builder, a block which handles everything and it configures something. And then it says services at hosted service. So there is the main shell and this one loads a service which uh, a function which is running a service something inside and this one is called worker and the worker is the second file that's the do work something yeah and inside there we have uh, that's c sharp written in c sharp it says create a new class a new block file of type background service and that's the main most important stuff it's a long running service which uh, runs in the background and loops always around it's not a small uh, uh, function <clears throat> and it's available from all uh, other applications uh, not applications but inside but it's a small demo inside there it says whenever when you in initialize that stuff it goes this one the class with the same name it's starting and it injects a log or a logger file where you may write a log information for the output and then we have uh, and then it has the uh, main function which is called execute async with a cancellation token that's not the most important stuff so this means if there's a canceling the application uh, this function everything which is inside will stop and inside there there's a while loop and the while loop says uh, until you nothing asked for cancellation do a lot give out a log information that's what we saw outside and then do a wait simply wait for uh, uh, something for for a second so that's 
stuff what you see there and whenever you do something <coughs> now you see this is the worker is running that's the log information what you see there now we want uh, it's nice to see that it works inside visual studio what when you want it in a real application you go here to build and then publish selection uh, section or pub public this project whatever you see there is uh, that's the project we deploy it to a it's called deploying publishing or deploying we deploy deploy it to a folder and we say okay finish that stuff create that folder it's an output folder and then normally you push simply the uh, the publish but we also have to do some settings in here so this is normally you default it's release when it when you drop all everything from the folder to a place then it will be able to run we have the target framework .NET 6 so the machine where go to has to have the .NET 6 uh, framework on there framework dependent don't take the self-contained when it's when you have windows uh, simply run the framework dependent that's why it's pre-installed in there uh, it's not portable it's not an uh, an arm uh, machine or uh, we take the windows um, um, uh, machine with 64 bits and then uh, we say okay windows 64 uh, take everything besides maybe inf information may be uh, important later then we push the publish button and the system in the output does something and then we see the output uh, in the output folder a lot of files this is the main file these are breakpoints and this is some some stuff inside and then you see a lot of stuff in here there's the logging the hosting dependencies configuration this is all the stuff which is is uh, um, necessary for running these are the dependencies or additional informations which are needed and now you we are we take all that stuff we uh, we place it in a separate folder <coughs> where we want to ship that stuff for example now I say test run test uh, run 3 I drop it in there and from there in the first moment I'm able to run it by double clicking for example so when we double click it you see it's running there we are also able to do it from the console in here we say here that's the uh, Windows 32 console uh, we might run it there or we take uh, the uh, the I'm always hanging uh, from the PowerShell PowerShell and then finally we take the PowerShell from here as an administrator or there as an administrator I'm open I'm using this one the PowerShell uh, and from PowerShell we are also able to run it but we want to install it now we want to bring that stuff inside of a machine so that it runs when the machine starts so we have here the task manager and from there you see the tasks which are in the background or services and we want to drop it there we want to see that stuff there and therefore we need the uh, sc command it's called sc uh, where is my stuff it's not there anymore sc exe sc exe and then we say we create a um, new task and we give it a name demo demo uh, demo worker service uh, zero three uh, we want to start it start it automatically automatically and then we say the bin path uh, equals this something and the bin path is the path from here we copy that stuff uh, no, it's first this that's that block then we take it in there paste it 
And then we need also the exe file there, the name of the exe file. We say here, give me the name. So, and by this, we say, my dear uh, system, My dear system, please install it as a service in the background. Create a name and start. So, and then we push enter. Then it says, SC says its create service is successful. And in the background, when we go to our uh, task manager, uh, here again, we have to open it again, task manager and the services you will see the dmp2 uh, not dmp demo demo here it's called demo uh, service 3 but it's stopped and the point is that when we go there um, here under services you may start it under services you see it a little bit deeper that it's not able to start uh, demo 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 here it is when we double click on it and start it from there, then you see more information. And it will say, hey, I can't do that job. That's what I want to show you. Now it says error 1053. The service can't start because it's too slow. It doesn't uh, doesn't react on the start and uh, control uh, requirements. So we uh, go out there again. We deinstall that stuff. So we say sc sc exe um, remove uh, ne, de delete this demo demo worker service. 3 and kill it from there from that list and now we do the uh, necessary improvements which we know how to do the other ones uh, I didn't find uh, so many others who could solve it uh, so we are still in program again and this was made what you see there the I host a host is uh, done from Microsoft ASP.NET course it's a web service like a web service yeah but it should work like a Windows service and that's why we need uh, something very small. Let's open, where's my, my wind worker? A small line. Come on. We need this small line use as a Windows service. So, and as soon as we drop it in there, you will see that you, the, for in Windows C Sharp, you are also always uh, able to do uh, the subtasks or uh, everything, the following uh, installations or commands in the following line as soon as you have here the semicolon so that's quite easy in c sharp you see there it says hey you forgot something and the reason therefore what we need is <coughs> i know we need a service which is called here under my reference pro project where it's already in there <clears throat> you see there as installed is the Microsoft extensions hosting Windows service. That's what we need. So we need the Microsoft service Windows stuff. And so we move this again where we go to our project. You said that's what you have there. Then we say manage NuGet packages. And from there, uh, drop under browse the that stuff that on the browse is uh, the NuGet package that's NuGet org. You file this. Uh, that's a public uh, organization or uh, place where everything is. And from there we take the 
the, this one, Microsoft Extensions Hostings uh, Windows Services. Click on there, select the your uh, the um, your version which you have in my system for my target machine has the .NET 6 installed. So I take the .NET 6. Otherwise, they have to uh, install the other versions also. Uh, so be sure that you take the, uh, the fitting uh, version. And then we say install. You see there are also some dependencies here on the uh, sub block, what you need else. And so this all, most stuff will be also installed uh, with this. Click on there. You see it's now installed. There's a small icon on there. Uh, and now we close the publisher, uh, the, the Nougat package manager again, and then we say start. And under start, you will see uh, it works the same as before, but now it has uh, other functionality behind there. So and now we say build again. We go here to the publish selection and we say uh, first check if the if there's something in the output folder which should be deleted. Then we say publish, and it takes everything what it needs under those settings and push that block to the outside. And now we take this one, uh, copy it or uh, cut cut it we go there and once back up here on the three everything what is in there will be deleted we don't need it there so be sure that uh, it's not there anymore so and we paste our stuff we have the exe the uh, we have the um, um, everything else the dlls and there's these are the breakpoints and you see there's a lot of dependencies which are in the in there there should also be this windows hosting uh, uh, you see that's from the hosting windows service there it is and that's what we need and now comes the magic the magic which is uh, essential we go here to our uh, PowerShell or to our um, console Windows console again as an administrator and then we say the same again we say here uh, install that stuff and here uh, SC exe create our demo vers version 3 start and the bin path push the uh, uh, the return button and then you see create service is successful in German uh, and now when I go to our console we will see something different and this is the successful stuff we go here you see the demo 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 where's our demo here's our demo and now it's demo 3 demo 3 uh, it should work but why does it not work so we we say uh, sc.exe uh, start start demo service 03 ah, it is running now it's running and it should also be yeah it here here you see it's running there uh, and you would also be able to run it from inside and now uh, it will start automatically yeah that's that's the point when we installed it we said start automatically when the system comes up and uh, when it, whenever it's necessary so this service runs in the background I normally use that stuff to uh, to open websites uh, and check if there is uh, if they are still alive uh, now we say stop that stuff again we say stop I think it's stop but I'm not so sure yeah it's stopped and now we say also remove that stuff so we say delete because I don't want it there anymore. So that's it.